All right, so um, a, a lot of times people have balancers. That, for, this we're talking LS stuff. So a lot of people have a balancer and they're and they've you know done a stroke or crank or whatever and they didn't buy you know some four or five hundred dollar balancer and the balancer doesn't have a keyway or they're going to use their factory balancer and there's no keyway. So what we do is um, if you. And I'm going to explain this for people that may want to try to do this themselves. So some of this jargon may not make no sense to a layperson, but somebody in a machine shop or, or you know, that understands machining will know what I'm talking about. So what we do is this is a inch and a half bushing. The bore, I think it's it's like one in four eighty, one in four seventy nine, and that's like. 30, 35 and a half millimeter, maybe 37 and a half. Millimeter. I don't remember what the metric is, but that's what it is. It's something metric, but it comes out to one in four eighty roughly. So this is a C style bushing, flanged bushing, and we just uh, turn it down to fit the bore, right? So it it fits the bore now. And this is a 3 16 style C. C means the guide or the groove is 3 8 of an inch. B is 5 16 maybe, I think. Anyway, style C, style C, inch and a half, and then we just turn it to fit, right? So uh, you can buy a single pass brooch that doesn't need uh, a shim, but the, the ones with a shim are like a quarter of the price, so and it's just one more pass, so it's, it's not a big deal to, to, to me anyway. So uh, you can probably do this with like a Arbor Press, maybe. I ain't never tried it, but uh, you know, little small keys I have, but I don't, I don't know if you drive this, but m maybe you can. Um, but anyway, if you got a, access to a, a real press, or the, the, the moral of the story is you can send this in and I'm happy to do it for you. Uh, I think we charge 50 bucks to, you know, to do the whole process. But basically, no, I had it in there upside down like a big dummy. I got a little piece of uh, round bar somewhere that I set these things on, but stuff gets moved around and I don't know where it's at. I need to do better.
so. We'll put our shim in. So, and that's how we put a keyway in. <clears throat> so, if you need a keyway put in, I'm happy to do it for you. And if you want to get the stuff where you can do it yourself, hopefully I explained that uh, straightforward enough. So, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.